that we call eyes, which shows you that you are a true reflection of the universe, and that the universe is you, and you are the universe. Are you ready? You know what they say, as above, so below. Are you ready? See what we got. What we got? What we got, brother? Let's Let's see. See. Welcome to the spiritual vault. I am Wunam, aka Nikki Love, your African indigenous traditional healer for my Afro, y'all. And I'm Brother Adinkra, your African indigenous traditional healer. How y'all doing tonight? All right, y'all. Welcome to the spiritual vault. And we are doing December predictions, okay? Oh, goodness. Um,. December predictions, okay? And we're talking about has the spiritual community become worse than Christians, okay? Have they been become worse than Christians? I think so. You think so? I think very much think? so. I think they become v- way worse than Christians. What y'all think? Because, let me turn this down. Really, now. really worse than Christians. That's the way. That's the way I feel about it. Okay. You know. Um. All right, y'all. So the question tonight is: Has the spiritual community become worse than Christians? We're gonna get into that in a little while before we. I mean, in in between while we're doing the predictions, y'all, because you know everybody likes the predictions. So we're gonna do predictions okay. for who? How you say that? Unam and Benja. <laughs> okay. What about it? No, this is what Oh, okay. All right, I've so. Never seen him before. So, hey Sherry Wilkins, how you doing? So you know we're gonna go into the love, the health, the finances. Hey Diamond Maid. Hey my sister Katie Ann. So we're gonna go into that in a minute because I feel that they literally lost their goddamn minds and they become a worse to Christians. So the question of the night is, are spiritualists becoming worse than Christians. I'm talking about ATR, African Traditional Religion. I'm talking, I hate to call it ATR, African Traditional, you know, healing. I'm talking about voodoo, hoodoo, you know, Wiccan, all this. Have that community of all of us doing, whether you deal with Apollo, whether you deal with, uh, um, uh, uh, Ifa, whether you do it a con, whether you do deal with, Haitian you know, voodoo. Haitian voodoo, voodoo, whether you do anything, has that group of people, our group of people, have they gotten worse than Christianity? I'm gonna tell y'all why I think so. Greetings, Anthony. How are you, Katie? my sister. All right, y'all. So let me tell y'all. Uh, let me y'all tell us what you think while we do December predictions, because you know everybody been asking us to do the predictions. Y'all like my afro? Y'all like my little afro? Y'all see me with afro? That means I feel like doing my goddamn hair. Okay? All right. So the question is again of the night. Are people that are practicing different type of traditions, whether it's Palo, Santeria, Voodoo, Hoodoo, Wiccan, Witchcraft, whatever you want to call it, had they gotten worse than the Christians? Because I think so, y'all. Tell us what you think in the, in the comment section. I can see that. I can see that. You know. Um, just I, more than anything, I hate all the uh, backbiting, going back and forth to arguing, yeah, and uh, trying to prove who's more powerful than this, trying to expose somebody for doing this and expose somebody for doing that. Man, let fighting each other, yeah, fighting with each other, work. fighting each other with spiritual work. Then, then you 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 want to target people's family and doing all kind of craziness. Well, you know, one of the things is, you know, people always think that, I don't care what kind of divination, what kind of reading, what kind of, none of them is usually 100%. None of them is usually 100%. And a lot of times people get readings, whether they get Ifa readings, whether they get divination readings, whether they get tarot readings, and sometimes the tarot readings can be off. Yeah. It could be a little bit off, and people will take that. They're so entwined in... Oh, somebody did something to me. They'll take it and they'll run with it. Oh, this person do it, so I gotta do a ritual back mm-hmm. on that. Yeah, that's why you gotta you gotta be able to to divine. If you read cards, you should be able to pick up the energy or see what's going on as well. And not only that, 
you should do, you should uh, get, you know, we re we always recommend three readings. Right. Always you get know, confirmation. Especially if it's something dealing with, you know, sending energy at somebody or somebody's doing something to you and you got to return the energy or whatever. Right. You want to have a full confirmation. You want to make sure you uh accurate so a lot of times when she does readings and stuff like that she'll ask me to do another reading behind it to to check and me as well if i'm reading something i ask her what does she see mm -hmm. and then a lot of times we how we know we, we're right because i won't tell her what i see and she won't tell me what she see but when i tell her she'll be like that's what i got or if i if not i said no i got this you know what i mean so because sometimes we pick up different stuff but a lot of times if it's around the same thing we know we're we're accurate and then, you know, it just helps to have at least two, but three is the best. Like, have three, three confirmations.